Hello, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Bethany. I'm Miss Bethany. I work at the Beaverton City Library. Today, we are going to talk about insects. Can you think of some insects you have seen outside? Or maybe inside? Some examples of insects are ants, bees, wasps, beetles, butterflies, moths, crickets, grasshoppers, katydids, cockroaches, flies, aphids, cicadas, mosquitoes, and dragonflies. And all of those insects have some things in common. They all have three parts. They have a head, a thorax, this part in the middle, and an abdomen. They all have legs. How many legs do you, we see here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Insects have six legs. And how many legs do a spider have? Spiders have eight legs, right? So they're not insects, they are arachnids. Sometimes people get those confused. All right, so they have the head, thorax, abdomen, six legs. Some have wings. So this one has wings. And they have antenna. So those are these parts up here and those help them smell. All right, we are going to sing a song about insects, to learn about insects, those things we just talked about. Head and thorax, abdomen, 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 head and thorax, abdomen. An insect has three parts. Every insect has six legs, has six legs, has six legs. Every insect has six legs, count them all to see. Every insect has antenna, has antenna, has antenna. Every insect has antenna, this is how they smell. Insects usually have some wings, have some wings, have some wings. Insects usually have some wings, this is how they fly. Every insect has three parts has six legs and antenna. Every insect has these things. Some even have wings. I learned a lot about insects when I was making it, getting this ready to teach you. So I hope you learned some things about insects too. And when you see some outside, you'll know that they're insects. Thanks for learning about insects with me. We'll see you next time. Bye.